All right, so I just have to get on here. This is unscripted. I just felt a deep conviction because I felt like I had to get on here to talk to a specific somebody. Now, if you're a pre-physical therapy student, you're in college right now, and you are struggling really hard to get your academics up, you have this vision of wanting to become a physical therapist and get into PT school. However, in this first term, right, this fall semester or this fall term, winter term, you just feel hopeless. I've been there. I've had, I said, all right, this is a school, new school year. I'm going to get going. And then one test, one exam, one quiz after another, I'm failing, I'm doing bad. And then by the end, I got my grade and I realized, holy crap, I got a D. Holy crap, I ended up with a C. And that can feel really overwhelming, really, really sad. You almost feel you almost feel like you're letting not only yourself down, but your family down, your friends down. I want to get on here to speak to you because guess what? It's a brand new year. And a new year means that you can recreate yourself. And in fact, it doesn't have to be. Let me tell you a secret. It doesn't have to be a new year for you to say, I'm going to restart and try again, right? We just have these dates, these times, these transitions that we set for ourselves, whether it's a new year, a birthday, a 20th birthday, um, a, a graduation. We have these days where we say, okay, after this day, I'm going to leave my past self here and my future self is going to move forward. But let's be honest, it's just another day in the 365 days that we have in the year, right? It's just another day in our timeline from birth to death. So yes, I mean, January, and in this case, 2024, is a perfect time to say, I'm gonna be a new self, a new me. The old me from December and from 2023, that was the student that failed the classes. That was the student that didn't study as well. But hey, sure, let, let's ride that wave and let's ride that motivation. But I want to let yourself, give yourself permission to say, I am not going to make those mistakes anymore. This is a new school year for me and I'm gonna bring my best self forward. And that means putting in the habits on a week by week basis. You think that that stuff doesn't matter, but it, it really does. You build a habit and you accomplish the things that you say you are going to do. I'm going to say that one more time. You accomplish, you check mark, you cross off the things that you say you are going to do one day, then the next day, then the next day you start building momentum. There is something that happens in that process where you say you're gonna do something and you cross it off and you check mark it. There's something in your psychology that says, wow, I am showing up for myself. If I tell myself I'm gonna do something tomorrow, I am more likely to show up for myself again and again and again. And guess what? Your goals start small. Something like drinking, I don't know, half a gallon of water. Some of you don't even drink any water. Starting with drinking half a gallon of water. Say you're gonna do that every day or do that tomorrow. And you do it and you go, damn, I feel great. Okay, now I'm gonna do three fourths of a gallon of a water and then a gallon of water and you start building this momentum. Same thing with your academics. You say, hey, I'm gonna put two hours of studying five days in the week. That means a total of 10 hours. So you do that. And you do that, two hours, check, two hours, check, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And at the end of the week, you're looking back and you go, damn, I studied 10 hours. I'm going to crush this chemistry class, this physics class that I failed last time that I said, I'm going to retake and do better this time. What am I going to do different? It's 2024. It's a new year. It's time to change. Because listen up everyone, if you're trying to get into PT school, your academics, you have to take it seriously. 
I made the mistake of thinking that I could get accepted into college. I was an undergrad student. I mean, sorry, I was a high school student. My GPA was mediocre, but I thought I can get into prestigious in colleges like USC and UCLA based on my networking and extracurriculars, which they were good, but my academics didn't put me high enough on the roster that those programs didn't even consider me. So if you're a type of student that thinks your academics is, you know, even though it's mediocre, you think you're going to have a chance to get into PT school, chances are like, it's going to be really hard. Sure, there are different ways and strategies to get you into school, a, a PT program in the United States. But if you want to get to your top choice or your top three list, you have to try hard. And so I don't know, I just felt this conviction in my heart, who this is for. But if you're that student that felt defeated last year in 2023, you know, um, COVID happened and you had to go in online and you had to adjust and you had to figure things out, but you just haven't got your feet under you. It's hard to adapt and adjust. And you see all your friends getting A's and B's and being successful, but you, it's hard. It's hard for you. You know, you're doing, you're doing um, uh, Zoom, Zoom meetings and calls and that just didn't work out for maybe the first two years of college. Then you go back to college and you're like freaking out because you have no idea what's going on. It's this transition and all of a sudden you're trying to juggle uh, upper division classes, prerequisites, chemistry, physics, anatomy, physiology, these really hard classes and you just feel like I cannot do it. And if that's how you felt in 2023 and last year, right now in 2024, give yourself permission to let yourself just fully embody where you are at right now. It's another chance for a restart. This is a new year. This is a new you. Look at yourself from the last year and tell that person, I am not you anymore. I am a new person this year, and my old self used to have these bad behaviors, these, these not productive things that they would do, like go home and watch Netflix or smoke or drink or just chill and lounge. But this new person is saying, ah, that, hey, that's the old Justin. I'm not doing that anymore. This is the new Justin that's going to be productive, that's going to focus on their academics, that's actually going to invest in the things now that's for their future. Your old self did the things now to just be in the now, to give into those pleasures because you just feel, oh, I feel tired, I feel weary, I don't want to do anything. And so you give into that. And so you pop on Netflix, watch a show, watch a movie smoke, drink, whatever you want to do, and just chill. That's fine for now, but your future self, that's not going to help your future self. For the person now who, even though they feel this way, they're able to regulate their emotions and start to think futuristically and to say, you know what? I might feel like I want to lounge and just chill, but I know that I'm going to have to put in the work for my future self. And listen up, everyone. <laughs> this is where it gets crazy because even though you're thinking about yourself getting into PT school and graduating and all that stuff, which is great. Like I want that future for you. Let's think beyond ourselves because how you act now and how you behave and what you learn is going to impact the people you are going to help. You're on this journey because you want to help people and create a lasting change. You want a positive impact to create, to make this world a healthier place. So if right now you are being lazy and not learning the material that you need to, that you're going to use in PT school and as a physical therapist, then my friend, can I say frankly that you are doing a disservice for our physical therapy community? You are doing a disservice for the mom and the dad and the grandma and grandpa that you are going to serve one day. And let me tell you, one day, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa will be your patient. I guarantee you. 
once you become a physical therapist, all the people around you, your friends, your family, oh, my neck hurts. My neck hurts, Dr. Justin. Can you help me? Oh, my shoulder hurts. Hey, you know what? I get this like clicking thing. Can you take a look at it? You're going to get all, asked all those questions. And so are you equipped to be able to answer that if you are not investing in yourself right now? Woo! Shut! It's getting hot in here, man. Hey, if I'm talking to you, you're resonating from this video. Can you let me know in the comments, say, Justin, you're speaking to me. Because I want to know how many students are out there that are feeling this type of way. I'd love to serve you. I'd love to help you out because I was a student like that too. I don't know if you knew this, but I dropped out of college. I went in, tried my first semester, and I said, I can't do this. I failed many classes, withdrew, took an incomplete, and I said, I'm going to drop out rather than try and fail. So I dropped out of college. And it took me many, 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 many years to figure all of this stuff out. But I finally did, and I made it as a doctor of physical therapy, baby. But if you're that student that feels like a failure, like I once did, who feels insecure, who feels like they can't do it, number one, it's a new year. Tell yourself you can make small goals and make small goals and try to accomplish those goals in the weeks. Take it as a week by week basis. Don't think of the whole semester or term, just put it on a week by week basis. Number two, if you need help, here's a call to action. I have a mentorship mastermind program for pre-physical therapy students who want to get into PT school. I'm going to share you all of my secrets and tips and just literally spill the tea on how to get in, on how you can start getting into PT school and finally impacting those people that you really want to help. There's this big obstacle mountain called PT school that's in the way of getting to the thing that you actually want to do. So let me help you conquer this mountain so you can go off and create change in this world, right? I get that. I've been there. Getting into PT school is so hard, so hard. And there's so many moving parts. There's so many different things. I felt overwhelmed doing it. I felt overwhelmed trying to figure it out. I'm sure you do too. Not to mention the GPA, your GRE, your observation hours, your letters of rec, your essay and the interview, all of those things, which extracurriculars you should pay attention to. I know how to do all that. I can help you out. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments or let me know in the description. I'm sorry. In the description, there is a link to join my mentorship mastermind program for pre-PT students. Check that out. I'd love to see you as a part of that community so I can help you get in so that you can impact people for the rest of their lives. You can impact your mom, your dad, your grandpa, your grandpa. <sighs> Let's go. Hey, if you're motivated from this video like I am and I'm freaking pumped, I'm just moving around in this video here today. Let me know, give this video a like, but I really appreciate your time watching this video for the entire 13 minutes that I had your attention here. <laughs> Oof, I love you guys. I just felt this in my heart. Please let me know if this is somebody, if this, if I'm talking to you, please let me know. Cause I, I just know I, I'm talking to somebody and I just want that confirmation that what I'm doing here in this video is talking to you. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others and lift yourself up. I'll see you in the next video.